not a shipyard. It's been in existence since 1944. So we've been building boats ever since that time. I've worked here full time since 66. I sort of grew up here as a kid. Every weekend, the holidays worked. And uh, being a master shipbuilder, I guess probably since 72. We are probably the one of the last boat builders in the province building boats this size. Probably uh, the best known would be Theodore. <laughs> we started Theodore, I guess, in April. Uh, it started, the actual planning of it started before Christmas. And uh, we've been working at it steady ever since. One of the biggest things was getting timber first because it takes very large timber to build a boat and particularly the shape of the bow and the stern area, which has a, a very different shape to it. It took some very large wood and uh, we had to do a lot of looking to find the wood big enough to do the job. But the stem is oak, uh, what we call the horn timber is oak, and the stern framing is oak. You cut out your keel, fasten that together, you fit your stem, the keel, the stern, the stern post, the stern post. Next is your shaft log, and the shaft log has to be lined up to suit the propeller for your engines. And uh, you go from there, actually. Yes. No, but any sloped up by and slide That's out. right. Yeah. So we yeah. have we got we'll have to find out the degree of the angle. You have to have a yeah. plan yeah. to build oh, the boat. That's normally where, where you do it anyway. Oh, yeah. The plan has to consist of a profile, which is gives the shape of the boat, looking a side view, and then you have to have a lines plan, and the lines plan gives you the shape of the hull. It's wood, but most tugs today is steel. The hull shape of the boat is different than all the boats we have built. It's a traditional build, and uh, it's framed out with steam frames. We have a, a framing around the boat, a temporary framing we put around. And once they've sit for about a half hour, they'll remain in that shape because once the, the timber cools off, it will not move. Well, we do a lot of different things. Uh, mostly we do things that other companies won't tackle because they're sort of too challenging or too difficult, too complicated and stuff like that. But we don't actually have a design in hand because what we had to work from was the actual model that was used in the filming of the, of the series. The art director gives us uh, sketches of where things should be put together and what they should look like and then we take those and when we scan them into the computer and then we actually generate like a computer assisted drawing for all the different pieces. We use those drawings to make the molds and then we make the molds, we actually make the pieces and then we fit it all together. We divide the head up into six equal sections, and then we made one mold that would do one-sixth of the circumference of the head. The hat was done in much the same way as five pieces that are identical, and then the six pieces, sort of an individual piece where you have to change the mold, and then again we join them all together.
and then the, the nose, for example, for which there's a template right there, that's made as an individual piece, and then it gets stuck on afterwards. When you see these uh, uh, pieces of ribs here, this represents a three inch diameter rope and that's exactly the size of the diameter rope that we will put on the hat and when you see the little piece on top here, it, it'll look exactly like that. And then we have the cabin itself which we will make as another piece and then the funnel which is a separate piece and then the lips and the eyebrows they get put on. The eye mechanism will actually be a separate piece on its own. When that's finished, we will be able to bolt the two together and then that's one unit. Take it down to the boat, bolt it onto the boat, and away it sails. <laughs>